Jesus. All praise is to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Wabra Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of this whole entire earth, no matter where, whom they may be, or what they may look like. To the rest of the church who believe as well, including you women out there, to the dead and Yahweh Shai also. And the water to Yahweh Shai, because without him enduring, and going to that cross for the nation of Israel, none of this would even be possible whatsoever. All right. Uh, just to clarify something, uh, at the beginning of my videos, when I'm giving my greetings, and I say to the hopeful elect throughout the four corners of the earth, no matter where, whom they may be or what they may look like, I'm speaking of the men who are involved in this ministry. Okay. The 144,000 and the rest of the church, I'm speaking of the rest of the elect. And I say including women, because some people like to assume that we women bash. So I had to clarify that for a second. So right here I have an article. It's from VOA News. It was posted on the 21st of August of 2020. I believe today would be the 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. So it reads, Biden outlines COVID plan as, as experts warn of global food shortages. U.S. Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden said he has a plan to help the U.S. fight the coronavirus outbreak. After all this time, the president still does not have a plan, Biden said. Well, I do. Biden said Thursday in his acceptance speech at the virtual Democratic convention that his plan would include a national mask wearing mandate and immediate rapid testing results. His plan would also call for increased manufacturing of medical supplies in the U.S. Biden added that he would ensure that schools have whatever they need to open safe and effective. The U.S. continues to lead the world in the number of COVID-19 cases and in deaths with more than 5.5 million infections and more than 170,000 deaths. The U.S. has roughly one fourth of the world's. Excuse me. The U.S. has roughly one-fourth of the world's more than 22.6 million COVID cases. The Philippines reported 4,786 new infections Friday, bringing its total case count to 182,365. It also recorded 59 deaths, increasing its death tally to 2,940. The infectiousness has increased because the strain has evolved. Health Secretary Francisco Duke, I believe is how you say that, said Friday. The humanitarian aid group CARE says the coronavirus pandemic is likely to aggravate the world's food insecurity and hunger crisis. So that's showing you, man. Uh, they could use this COVID-19 to help bring a famine. And that's a horrible way to go out. Okay. CARE says... In a new report, the number of people around the globe facing severe food insecurity or a food crisis could nearly double to 270 million by the end of the year. And we're almost at the end of the year. We're in August going into September. The number of people in Latin America facing food shortages has tripled, while the number has doubled in West and Central Africa and exploded by as much as 90% in Southern Africa, according to the report. People in development countries are facing pandemic-related food insecurities as well. Care reported that in one in four adults in Britain struggles to gain access to affordable and nutritious food, while at least six million Americans have registered for food benefits since the virus began to spread. Okay, so that's showing you at least 25% of Britain is struggling to uh, access affordable food, nutritious food. OK, and then it says, while at least six million Americans have registered for food benefits since the virus begun to spread. OK, so imagine that. How could a virus. You know, bring a food shortage. The number of COVID-19 deaths in Latin America passed the 250,000 mark on Thursday, according a Reuters count. 
The region is experiencing more than 3,000 deaths a day. Wow. And the number of new cases reported each day is rising in Argentina, Colombia, and Peru. So a lot of you Israelites, a lot of you Northern Kingdom, y'all getting hit right now. Brazil still leads Latin America with more than 3.5 million cases and 112,304 deaths, according to the Johns, Hop the Johns Hopkins University Coronavirus Resource Center. Only the U.S. with almost 5.6 million cases and more than 174,000 deaths exceeds Brazil's toll. The medical group, the medical aid group doctors without borders, MSF, said Thursday that the Brazilian government is stopping it from finding or preventing cases among the Tarina indigenous people of southern Brazil. So there, there's nothing that can be done, man. This, this, this virus is still spreading. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is plaguing the earth. And you Israelites, you getting hit by it too. All right? And not only are you getting hit by it, this virus, I'm going to end it there with the article, but this virus, it's going to bring in a famine. All right? Let's go to the book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15 and verse 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world. So this coronavirus, it's all throughout the world right now. And there was a time before it came here to America, you had a lot of Americans prideful saying that could never be us. People would hear about it. Uh, that's them. Well, guess what? Now it's all throughout the earth and it's affecting the food. OK, and you have Joe Biden. Trying to pretty much influence you into thinking he can be the answer to stopping this food crisis there's nothing that can be done man this society's over it's collapsing the truth has spread all throughout the earth and the scriptures already gave warning on what would happen once that happened behold said the lord i will bring plagues upon the world the sword famine death and destruction for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled. That's why you're seeing this world crumble. That's why you're seeing America go down. This society is not as great as it once was. It's collapsing. Okay. And in the midst of all that, you have people trying to figure out how to get jobs. People have lost jobs due to this coronavirus. Businesses have closed due to this coronavirus and more businesses will close. OK. I'm going to go to the book of. This is the book of Ecclesiastes. Chapter 12 and verse three. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened. So we're coming into a time of complete chaos. People are going to be lost, confused. OK, and it's going to be spiritual. Because. An EMP attack could easily shut down all of America, okay, knock down the grid. And you literally, you know, can look out your window and see that there's no lights. But there's going to be a lot of confusion and evil. People are going to be, you know, wanting answers. People are going to lose their minds because of jobs being shut down. People not having jobs to provide. The money's going to collapse. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Okay. So a lot of men in these times to come, they're going to become like women. And the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few. And right now you're seeing that today, you know jobs are being closed down 
not as many businesses are running as they once were. Okay? Even dominant businesses, uh, they might not have shut down completely, but they have lost um, branches. They have lost some of their, their factories or whatnot. So you're seeing the effects of the Lord sending plagues throughout the earth, what he can do easily just by flexing a pinky muscle. And the grinders cease. And you know, Jake like to refer to grinding as getting money, hustling, so to speak, I'm getting my grind on because they are few and those that look out of the windows be darkened and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. And we're in the worst time in music history right now. In the midst of all these things happening, the music sucks, okay? You might have some, some dope beats, but it's getting to the point where a lot of the beats are starting to sound the same or recycled, which everything is recycled. It's almost like Jake is running out of ideas. And Esau is just using a lot of this music today to just distract music. Music is supposed to feed the soul, man. It's supposed to teach you and inspire you. Today's music, it just puts demons on you. All right? So music's been brought low. The door shall be shut in the streets. And you're seeing that, man. You're seeing businesses close. All right? You're seeing places talking about out of business. Places being boarded up all throughout America. Okay? Once was open, now it's not. All right? When the sound of the grinding is low. So it's showing you there's still jobs open, but not as many as before. At the voice of the bird. And all the daughters of music shall be brought low. So let's jump back to the Apocrypha. This is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus. Chapter 39 and verse 29. Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. So the reason why this COVID-19 is being used to affect the food source and it's going to be a tool used to bring in a famine because Yahweh by Shem Shah is showing his vengeance. That's why we ourselves, we might get afflicted and go through things with people, but we got to sit back and let the Lord do his thing because when he judges, it's going to be on a level far more than what we can do. Okay? He's going to starve people out, man. We're not going to have that ability on our own to, to starve out our enemies, man. The Lord's going to do that. All right? The Lord's going to do things that we can't do. He's going to surpass whatever judgment we think we can do to somebody because of our little mortal anger. Okay? Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. All right? So we got to wait on the Lord. Why? Let's go to the book of... Romans chapter 12. Uh, that's not it. I'll just type it in. Okay, 12 and 19. Romans 12 and 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. The Lord is bringing the famine. That's one of the ways the Lord is going to show his vengeance. Starving people out, man. And that is a horrible way to go out. It's going to get so bad, people are going to actually eat their children. The ones that they supposedly love right now, who they would die for. Yahweh Shemiah is going to bring a famine so bad, you're going to see people out here 
who are naked without the Lord eating their own children. Jeremiah 19 and 7. And I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place. And I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies and by the hands of them that seek their lives. And their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the heaven and for beasts of the earth. And I will make this city desolate and in hissing. Everyone that passeth thereby shall be astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof. And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. That's called cannibalism. Yahweh by Shem Shai is going to bring so much vengeance. He's even going to starve people to the point where they have to eat their own children, man. Okay? And I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and the flesh of their daughters. And they shall eat everyone the flesh of his friend. So all the ones you supposedly care about, it's going to get so bad out here. People are going to be so hungry. They stomach and backs going to be touching to the point they're going to be willing to kill and eat their loved ones, man. Those they care about more than anything. Okay. Everyone, everyone, the flesh of his friend and the siege and straightness wherewith their enemies and they that seek their lives shall straighten them okay going into that word straighten hebrews 66 93 to constrain press bring into straights straighten oppress and that's what's coming man death destruction oppression cannibalism confusion darkness evil brutality okay death destruction and ultimately for the elect deliverance Okay, I'm going to close it out and I'm going to go to the book of, well, I might go somewhere else actually. No, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to Ezekiel chapter 5 and verse 11. Wherefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, surely because thou hast defiled my sanctuary with all thy detestable things and with all thine abominations therefore will i also diminish thee neither shall mine eyes spare neither will i have pity so when the time comes and the lord starts to kill off you israelites and you're wondering why he's not answering you why so many people are dying and nothing's happening it's because he's not going to show pity because he's the one doing it verse 12 a third part of thee shall die with the pestilence and with famine okay that's going to happen so when this famine does come, among other things, those who get caught up in it, that is judgment from the Lord. That is vengeance from the Lord. And with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee. And a third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. And I will scatter a third part into the winds and I will draw out a sword after them. So there's nothing that's going to be done. You can try to run, hide or whatever the Lord going to get you if you're meant to be caught up in that judgment. Thus shall mine anger be accomplished, and I will cause my fury to rest upon them. And I will be comforted, and they shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal, when I have accomplished my fury in them. Moreover, I will make thee waste, and a reproach among the nations that are round about thee in the sight of all that pass by. So it shall be a reproach and a taunt, an instruction and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. When I shall execute judgments in thee in anger and in fury and in furious rebukes, I, the Lord, have spoken. Hold on, man. A lot of y'all, y'all get angry and offended when we tell you these things. But the scriptures right here just said, I, the Lord, have spoken it. The Lord is saying these things, man. All right. When I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine. So that's coming. We just read the article. All right. Uh, Biden think he's the answer to it. <laughs> when I shall send upon them the evil arrows of famine, which shall be for their destruction, and which I will send to destroy you, and I will increase the famine upon you, and will break your staff of bread. And I read an article some time back. And in the article, it literally talked about how... The, the, the staff of food was breaking. Something along those lines, man. It used the same words in the scriptures. 
So will I send upon you famine. There's that word famine again. And evil beasts. And they shall bereave thee. And pestilence and blood shall pass through thee. And I will bring the sword upon thee. I the Lord have spoken. it. So that's where we are right now. Okay. So that's why reading this article and going to the headlines. Biden outlines COVID plan as ex as experts <laughs> that always makes me uh, get into a tongue twist as experts warn of global food shortages. So why are they warning of global food shortages? Because it's the judgment of the Lord. We are in that season. When you go to the book of Ecclesiastes three, it tells you there's a time and a season for everything under the heaven. And we're coming into the time and the season for the Lord's vengeance, man. Okay, so with that, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Wawra Kakodash, Shalom.